What's up, Jess family? It's your boy back in the building again with another one. Uh, just coming at you with some, you know, certain things that I've had to calm myself down a bit about. But again, with that Jets mentality, that Jets skepticism, it's always going to be there. I really feel like I've been scarred, you know, being a Jets fan all my life. And um, it's just been that 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 uh, trigger. Whenever you see an injury or you see somebody that gets hit wrong or somebody that throws a pick, it's automatically doom and gloom. And I'm trying to shake that. That's why I got rid of the disgruntle before my name. But it's still there, no matter if I take it off or not. These boys is just going to have to prove to me that they are no longer that organization that gets laughed at. They got to prove to me or prove to us that this organization is ready to take a step to becoming a professional culture within that locker room. This organization has to prove to us that we are no longer the clowns in the room or the circus is in town. They have to be that 30 second NFL team in the NFL that is presenting themselves as an actual NFL team. So there is a little bit of skepticism going forward, but I am trying to shake that. It's like having an addiction to always feeling negative about a situation. You know what I'm saying? Or having an addiction of saying that or it's not even an addiction. It's like more of a, um, I don't even know the word for it. It's just more of a bad habit. You know, something, you see something and it triggers you, just be like, oh, it's over. Just end the season. That's the typical Jets fan response to when something goes on because we know it's not just going to be bad. It's going to be the worst of the bad. It's not just going to be a bad week. It's going to be a bad quarter of a, of, a, of a season. It's not just going to be one pick. It's going to be four or five picks and a fumble and a side injury. And maybe the injury to the guy that fumbled and threw the picks. That's the Jets' life. That's the fan. That's the life of a Jets fan, basically. But not to go off tangent, I am here to say that um, I am happy to hear that Zach Wilson is recovering at a fast rate. You know what I'm saying? He's able to walk today. There's that trigger in my head, though. It's like, but he threw that pick, though. Do we really want him back that fast? That's that's this guy right here just on the side of me, like the devil jet the jet devil right there the angel the jet angel is like don't worry it's a positive thing that's where I'm trying to go with this so I feel like Zach Wilson is going to have a speedy recovery we still don't need to rush him because just because it was a successful surgery doesn't mean he can just jump out on that field and make another crazy bonehead try to juke somebody. I mean, he should have did that in a regular season. That would have been a good regular season juke. But you know he's going to have to do that several times over if our line allows a blitz or if he's going to be mobile. Um, he's going to have to use his legs, which connect to his knee bone. His knee bone connected to his hip bone. His hip bone connected to his, you know, so all that correlates. So if his body is still not healthy or if he's still feeling weak in that knee area and he pulls a quick juke and it's not ready, knock on wood, man. I don't want to see worse than what we got. There's this guy talking to me right now. <laughs> but um, Dwayne Brown, of course, is going to take that left tackle position. I know I said that uh, he should try that right, but he's too far in his career to even go that route. So Fant is now that right tackle. And I know Fant's probably a little bit disgruntled about that because he did a hell of a job last year for that left tackle. And he relied on Mekhi Becton, which Mekhi Becton is no longer a part of it. 
In fact, I, I hate to say this, I think his career is in jeopardy. You know what I'm saying? It's unfortunate and I feel bad for the guy because he's a, he's a hell of a player when he's healthy. He's a game changer when he's healthy, but will he ever be healthy again is a question. So big ups to Makai Becton. Um, and, you know, fan was relying on Makai Becton to be that guy on the right side. But here we go. We had to make changes. Um, JD came in and said, Dwayne Brown, we signing you. Good move. A veteran that can handle that left side. I just hope Fan can adjust to that right side again and try to be the best right side he can be. If I was if I was Fan, I'd ask for some more money and a new contract too after the season, depending on how good he plays on that right side. But seriously, for him to be a stand-up player like that, he's all about the team. There's no I in team with his decision making. So big ups to um to to Fan right there. You know what I'm saying? I heard that uh, Michael White did well today. You know, he was killing it in the uh, practice. But again, man, this is practice. We can talk all, you know, X's and O's in the practice. You really can't talk X's and O's in the practice. Practice is just to help build that football ready football player to jump on that real regular season panel and, and play to win. You know what I'm saying? And um, damn, this guy just. I want to go into saying the bad things about Zach Wilson's interception, but again, that is preseason. You know what I'm saying? So I got to I got to cut my man some slack. It's just hard to cut that man slack when it was such a basic defense and homeboy was just sitting there like, "Ooh, this is for me." <laughs> and just snatched the ball. Picked it off, but I just want to basically come into saying that, you know what, we still have a fresh start to a new season. Just fans, don't fret. I just want us to be competitive in that AFC East. At least be third. You know, uh, the Dolphins could be fourth or, you know, the Patriots need to be fourth. I don't have no bad vibes with the Dolphins or the Bills, even though they rivals, but I'm saying, like, they, them boys deserve – you know, to get what they get because they play hard and they they definitely show that they want to win. Patriots, you got rid of McDaniels. Mac Jones, to me, is not the truth. However, Mac Jones is a good player. He's a game manager like Kyle Orton. Or is that his first name? Kyle Orton? But you know what I'm talking about. Orton, remember? Just a game manager, though. Um... I don't see nothing special with him. He doesn't have an arm like Tom Brady to even be considered like a Tom Brady. He he was accurate for them little you know dump off routes and those little um, flat routes and little slants and stuff. But he can't throw down the field. And I think if you get him in an uncomfortable position, which the Jets defense should and could and better, because Old Bridge. I'm not lying, man. I am not lying. Obridge is the, the weakest link on this team. That is coming from me. I don't believe in our defensive coordinator at all. Our DC is not the one. His zone schemes are garbage. No pressure. This shit better change because at the end of the day, we got good players on defense from the secondary all the way down to the front seven. You know what I'm saying? So there is no excuse for Obrich to allow 120 some odd rushing yards and three touchdowns and no turnovers. That, that, that will not settle well with me or any one of us Jets fans at all. But on that note, y'all, I don't mean to rant and ramble and go crazy. I just had to drop something and let it be known and it's how I'm feeling from a Jets fan. This is always coming from my heart, y'all. And I appreciate y'all for listening, chiming in, and hanging out with your boy. Because this is real talk, and this is how I feel. I'm not an analyst. I'm just a guy that loves the Jets. You know what I'm saying? I'm just a fan that grew up as a fan at a very young age. Never been on no bandwagon bullshit. And uh, I just want to speak for the people that feel me out there, man. As they would do the same for me. And that's what I'm here for. And that's why I'm dropping these vids. 
So on that note, peeps, let me know what you think in the comments below. Please hit that like button and subscribe and hang out with your boy, man. Let's do this shit together and let's keep it 100. And on that note, man, I'll be in touch. And like always, J-E-T-S, just, just, just get it, baby. I'm out.